name's Eric, and this is my son Kyle. Hello. And today we're doing another Cooking with Kyle segment, corned beef and cabbage. Now this is one of my favorite recipes. I know mm -hmm. Kyle likes it. Uh, my wife Monica absolutely loves it. Today happens to be St. Patrick's Day, so that's how we're going to celebrate. So I got a couple corned beefs because we usually devour one and then we're going to have one for leftovers. So I got two three and a half pound corned beefs. These are the kind you buy at the store already pre-packaged. I got some carrots, some baby red potatoes, a cabbage. That's about it. Now I've cooked corned beef so many different ways. I'll leave video links below. I've done it in the instant pot. I put it on the smoker, turned it into pastrami. I've done it in uh, a sous vide. Uh, and I think I've also done one in the slow cooker. But this time we're gonna do it more traditional. I got a couple of Dutch ovens, one for each corned beef, and we're just gonna let them simmer for two to three hours. And then we're gonna cook the vegetables in a wonderful broth. It's super easy. So stick around, me and Kyle are gonna show you how to do this. Let's get cooking! <laughs> there you go, let's get cooking. All right guys, super easy. First thing you do is take your Dutch oven. We cut open the corned beefs. Okay, Kyle, let's just pour it in. No need to rinse this because we're gonna simmer it for several hours. Just let all that juice and everything else fall out, just like that, yeah. Just, oh, there we go. And then kind of make sure all that juice drips out because that's some added flavor. Now there's a spice packet. Do you see where your spice packet went? No, it's disappeared into Little the abyss. <laughs> Little spice packets. I oh, come I with see Moses. It. Oh, right there. Okay. So give me this. Let's get this out. Yeah. Well, it's a little, little slimy. Hang on. Let's uh, let's cut this open. I'll cut this one open and give this one to you. This is yours. Hold it. Just pour okay. it on. And yeah. And what we're gonna do is now sprinkle it evenly. Okay. So sprinkle it on top. Just like that. Yeah. See. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add water in the pots to make sure the corned beefs are covered. How easy is that? All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, so here we are. Just regular old cold tap water. Cover it up uh, as best you can. We're going to put these over here on the stove top and bring to a boil. And then we're going to reduce it down and simmer for around two and a half to three hours until it's tender. Pretty easy, huh, Kyle? Mm-hmm. All right. We'll move them over. All right, guys, it's come to a boil here. So what we're gonna do, Kyle, here, hold this little bowl. That's the uh, floating stuff. That's a little bit of foam, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a spoon, and we're gonna try to drain that foam. Here, put the bowl over here, so I can, mm -hmm. yeah, move it over over the pot. Whoops, I'm steaming up the thing. We're just gonna kind of remove that foam, and then we're gonna turn this down, and we're gonna simmer it, so, Give uh, me and Kyle a minute. Whoops. What's the foam for? It's just the foam from the spices kind of come into a boil, but we, we want to get rid of all that. All right, so give me a minute, guys. We'll be back in a second. I'll show you how it looks like. All right, so we removed all the foam here, and now we're just going to kind of put it like this. I'm going to put it just a little bit here. We're going to kind of just keep it a little slightly ajar here, and we're going to try to just keep this to the nice simmer anywhere from two to three hours just like so all right we'll be back in a little bit all right guys since we have some time time for a drink review now in honor of st patrick's day i'm going to make a black and tan we're going to use harp lager and guinness extra stout both from uh, ireland so there we go i'll show you how to do that in a second this black. is my Black and tan? What about green? <laughs> well, St. Patrick's Day, right? We, we do have green, but first for, I think yours might be green too, I'm Ava, Ava Grace. Grace and he's Kyle, by uh, the way. Yes, I forgot to introduce my daughter, Ava Grace, my son Kyle. Ava Grace is going to try a Capri Sun Pacific Cooler. So I'm not quite sure what the ingredients are in that, but that's what she's having. And then Kyle, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, decided to have a green soda. Well, it says... And this is green. This is always ask for Avery kiwi and blue raspberry alien snot. It's soda disgusting. Totally gross soda. So, so that's what Kyle's going to have. <laughs> see, Eric, see it's green. That, that's right, Kyle. 
All right. It's kind of like a greenish blue. To be well, it's like a neon green almost. Kind All right, and guys, if you don't know what a black and tan is, it's basically the tan color of the harp and the black color of the Guinness. And so how we do this, you know how to put the straw in? Yeah, I do. This, but... this is going to take a little longer than normal. You need a special spoon. I bought this for five bucks at our local liquor store, but you can also take a regular spoon and bend it. You want to pour the second part of the beer on the bottom part of the spoon. This has got a little handle that you kind of hang like that when you pour it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, and you can put the straw That's on. a weird way to pour it. I was going to say it does say what's inside of this drink. It says mixed fruit flavor juice drink blend from concentrate. Okay, there you go. So we're going to start with the tan color first, okay? Which is the harp. And you want to fill it up around halfway. So there we go. Now, using this special spoon, oops, excuse me. I'm going to pour this on top very slowly. That's a weird way to pour it. Well, it keeps the beer separated, or it should in theory. So let's see. Hopefully, it does. It, it works right. You poured the whole thing, Kyle. That's okay. <laughs> Oh, so now we know that that much for a bottle is enough to fill up a whole cup. Well, that's almost very whole cup. in size. Mm -hmm. well, I'm a little disappointed because I don't see the separation at all. It looks all dark. In either case, I really would enjoy it anyway. I don't know. I'm going to try to do another one and hopefully I can come back later and show you. But uh, for some reason, this didn't come out the way I wanted it to. All right, guys, as always, thanks for stopping by and watching. Let's, uh, cheers. 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 Grab your drink and do cheers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Cheers to our viewers. Happy St. Patrick's Day. All right. It's been a long time since I have a black and tan. If I ever go to an Irish bar, I like to have a black and tan because it's kind of two, two distinct flavors of beer in one glass. And this kind of tastes like a little bit of a watered down Guinness. I just don't know what happened. I guess I got to Google how to pour black and tan. <laughs> All right, Ava Grace, how's yours? So, mm. this kind of tastes like wet fruit, just a different, different fruit. I don't okay. know, it could be any fruit, but. You don't taste any distinct fruit flavors? Man, that could be a good no. advertisement. Wet, tastes like wet fruit. But yeah, wet fruit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's really good. Well, it looks like and it tastes a... like a cooler of fruit. It's okay, really they good. have grapes, apple, pineapple, cherries. It looks like. The By cup. the way, now I know how to actually say how I think of the drink. You know, when I was take a few years ago, drink a real, I would just say, "Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good." <laughs> <laughs> You're getting better at describing with your adjectives. All right, Kyle, how's your green? Uh, what is it? Alien snot. <laughs> it's good. It's is to it? me, it's all kind of. What's the brand called? Always Avery's. For Avery's. It's I, a little gimmicky. Yeah, though. I find uh, at first because I, I tried. I forgot the first one I tried was. Um, but yeah, they, they they try to make it sound gross. It's never really gross. It's kind of it's like a simple soda, almost kind of like. Not same case wise, but almost kind of like you uh, have a Fanta, or you have a, uh, or you, yeah, like a Fanta almost, where it's like it's a simple uh, fruit soda. All right. Do yeah. you have it again? Yeah, they're good. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. So, corned beefs are on. We're gonna let them go. Like I said, anywhere from yeah. two to three hours. When you get to around an hour, forty-five minutes, two-hour mark, check them out. Uh, you don't want to cook them like crazy. Uh, I mean, I guess you could cook them like crazy, but you want to still be able to slice them against the grain. So uh, somewhere between two and three hours, that light simmer. So we'll come back in a couple hours, check them out. All right, cheers again, guys. Cheers to our viewers. We'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, welcome back. I'm still bummed out about my black and tan, so I brought my wife. Uh, I watched a couple YouTube videos, and it's I did do it correctly. Now, what I think is the difference is, I picked up Guinness Extra Stout. 
Uh, the other Guinness is what's it called? It's Dra just draft. Or it's draft. draft. It's draft stout. Draft so stout, which is like this nitrogen infused. Right. I did see yeah. it at the store, but it had a lower alcohol content, and I thought, ooh, extra stout. So I grabbed this. Maybe that's the problem. I should have grabbed uh, the one with the nitrogen thing in there because it's a little more airy and uh, less density, I think. But we're going to try it again. It's been a while since we made it, so it, it I mean, we, you were thinking that's what... Well, I, we I just, thought, I know I mean, Guinness sure. and Harp, and, or Guinness and Bass, I know that's the two beers, and when we went into the liquor store today, they had them right there when you walked in on the display, and I just grabbed them, but I did notice that they had two different kinds of Guinness, and that's like I said, the Guinness dr Draft or Drought? Draft. A draft, Guinness Draft, and there was like nitrogen in there. They have some kind of ball in the can when you pour it, and it, yeah, it just, it's a lighter consistency, I think. So I don't I think, think I'm going to do any better than you. Okay, so pour it so halfway. Half, halfway. Halfway with uh, the harp. All right, here we go. We're going to do halfway. Or a little more than half, yeah, a little more. Maybe that, there. We want to turn it so you can see. Is that good? All right, oh, and now you want to try to pour this that. This is where I messed this up. Well, if it if it you know it still tastes good this way. Believe me, it's a good combination. It goes good together. They had to kind of pour it at an angle in the video, so maybe maybe just keep it just like that without putting your hand up straight up. Just let it go like that. Yeah, just pour, pour it on top. I don't top. think so. So. Well, that's how I did it. I held it straight up and it didn't work. Oh, okay, so okay. Try it like that just to see. I don't know. Oh, that's it. Now it's mixing. No, that's it. It's okay. not. It's not mixing. Okay. Oh, it's mixing a little. Good. Oh, we are. We're dripping all over the place. Maybe I poured it too fast. It's my Irish touch. But it's dripping like crazy. Well, remember, there was a mess on that video, too. I don't know why it's, uh, why is it pouring down the outside of the glass? That's weird. Because it's hard to pour it very, very slowly without that happening. But it is separating. It is separating a little bit, so maybe that's not it. But I still think that Guinness Draft... Maybe you get another paper towel? No, it's, it's kind of mixing, but we'll see what happens. And maybe I just poured it too fast. Well, even I didn't pour it slow enough. No, see, now it's starting to all mix together. It's a little separated, but not much. So I don't know. I think it, I think that's what it is. I think it's just the wrong type of beer. Okay, we'll finish it off. Oh, well. Now, you might, <laughs> now you might as well. All right, well, it'll be good. Well, next time... I'm going to try this again. I'm going to get the other type of, of uh, Guinness <laughs> just to see. Yeah. All right. Happy St. Patrick's Happy Day. Happy St. Patty's Day. All right. With our own homemade kind of Frankenstein black and tan. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Are you ready for the corned beef and can? Oh, man. This is... She loves that. It's in my blood. Mm. All right, guys. We're, now we're just going to enjoy these beers. We're going to mm. wait a couple hours. We'll meet back with you guys in a little bit. This mm -hmm. is good. Is okay, good. here we are. It's been around three hours. Here's the one. It's kind of been a little, little under simmering, but let's see the temperature. Yeah, this is perfect. 193. Let's see over here. Yeah, 192 over here. 193. Perfect. Focusing on this one here. This one I I turned down because it was a little bit smaller piece. Yeah, a little bit hotter, but yeah, this is perfect. You want to get it in uh, that 190, 200 degree range. We'll take these out, cover them with foil, and then we'll get busy with the potatoes and the carrots and the cabbage. All right, here they are. This one looks more like a point. Then a flat, but this one it looks really good. Now I'm just going to cover them with foil, let them hang out here on the kitchen counter while we get those uh, vegetables ready to cook. So yeah, just cover them up, let them hang out. Perfect. We'll be back in a second. So here we have a bag of uh, carrots, two pounds, and uh, one large cabbage. We've uh, 
cut into, uh, what's that, eights, I guess. Not quarters. Eights. Eight different pieces. Yep, just like that. All right, we have uh, two one and a half pound bags of these little potatoes, which uh, Monica says are the cutest potatoes you've seen. I don't think these take longer than like 20, maybe 30 minutes tops. They're so small, but man, they look good. All right. Okay, two pots. We got the carrots. I'm going to put like half in one and half in the other. These take the longest to cook, so put those in first. Cover them. We'll give them around uh, 10 minutes. See you guys then. Okay. These carrots have been simmering for around 10, 12 minutes. Now we're gonna add these little tiny, little potatoes. <laughs> That's what they call them, little potatoes. Okay, Kyle, you got that pot, be careful. Nice and slow, we don't want to splash. Ooh. That, oh, 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 be careful. See what <laughs> There you go, you got it. We'll give this a second to come to a boil again or a simmer, and then we'll add the cabbage. In another like 10, 15 minutes, this is done. Be back in a second. All right, Kyle, what do you think? Looks good. Okay, we're gonna add the cabbage. We're gonna add four pieces in each pot. Then we're going to put the cover on it. We're going to let it go another 10 minutes or so, and then I think we are ready to eat. Woo! There we go. Let's, let's put a cover on this one. A cover on this one. There we go. We'll be back in around 10, 15 minutes. Right here it is. I've had it resting under foil for around 20 minutes. We want to slice against the grain. The grain's going this way here. So it's kind of a weird angle. I'm going to turn it kind of sideways. We're just going to start slicing pieces here. There we go. Perfectly cooked corned beef. Not to the point where it's all flaky and, uh, you know, and, you know, don't get me wrong. I'll eat that too because <laughs> I love corned beef. But, yeah, perfectly cooked here. Let me slice this and the other one. We'll be back in a minute. Right there, guys. Look at that. Man, oh man. All right. Be back in a minute. All right, here Kyle is. Come on, hold it. Yep, slice it. Then yeah, hold it more straight, like right there. Yeah, push down. Pull it back. Nice one long stroke. There you go. Okay, keep going. Wow. Straight down, yeah, there you go. Yep, 
Yeah, there you go. Welcome back. I'm here with my whole family. My wife, Monica, my son, Kyle, Hello. my daughter, Ava Grace. Hi. Hi. We chopped hers up small with some potatoes and carrots. Yeah. So I think you can do this. It has the potatoes and it has the what? So this is the potatoes corn beef. with potatoes and butter. Yeah. And then there's some carrots and corn with beef. butter. Mm -hmm. I yeah. Took, yeah the, I mixed the corned beef with the potatoes for her. Okay, ready? Mm. Let's see how it is. Cooking the potatoes and carrots in that same Juice. liquid as the corned beef. Uh huh. Mmm. Adds uh -huh. so much flavor. What do you think, Al? Done. Yeah, very good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is good. Let me try the corned beef now. How do you like it, Ava Grace? Mm hmm. Hmm? Mm hmm. She loving it. Give me a minute, because I'm still trying to, <laughs> trying okay. to figure out how, <laughs> how to process mm -hmm. it. I'm just chill. Right, I'm going to take a piece chill. of corned beef with some you know, more mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. How is it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I love corned beef. I do. Mm. This is perfect. This is, this mm -hmm. is how we do it every year. I love this. I look forward to this more than almost other than Christmas prime rib, this is my favorite meal of the year. Mmm, this is really good. It's it is, so good. It's great with the potatoes. Mmm. I'm going to try the carrots and see. No, I love it too. All the flavors. Mm hmm We got yeah. her some cabbage mm -hmm. to try. She's loving it. She might it's like a winner. The, she might like the cabbage too. Oh, I'll give her some cabbage. But by itself it can be a little hard. Mm. Winner, winner, corned beef dinner. What do you think, Kyle? She look, said, at, look at the camera and tell them what you think. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> that was funny. Let's do it. Ava Gray said, winner, winner, corned beef dinner. Mm -hmm. Winner, winner, corned beef dinner. That's it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. That's good. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to eat the whole meal on that. Same. <laughs> I want to eat the whole meal. <laughs> I'm hungry. No, but do mm -hmm. your review. We all are. Mm -hmm. Good. As right. always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Mm -hmm. The logo on my shirt, hit the thing in the corner of the screen to subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate that. And uh, I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokingbarbecue.com. Go check it out. What do you think? It's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for stopping by. Toodaloo! <laughs> Toodaloo? Really? Yeah. <laughs> right. Toodaloo. Oh. Farewell. So yeah. Farewell. Alright, you can turn off the camera. You can turn off the camera now. It's know? meant to you to take a bite. Oh, this is good. All and right. then stop. Bye-bye! And bye. 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 finish your food. Not eat your whole meal on camera. No, Nobody I want to.